Here at Armchair Coaches, we care about our viewers more than anything. And on Sundays, you know, we try our best to watch all the games. We want to know what happens in all the games. But even with things like Red Zone and all the streaming options that are out there, no one has the ability to watch every game. So that's why we've taken it upon ourselves to break down literally every game from week three. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, make sure to invite the like button over to your house for a pizza party. And then the subscribe button, I want you to take it to the zoo, cover it with honey, and throw it into the bear enclosure. All right, let's talk about some football. Let's talk about the best team in the NFL right now, the New York Jets. Um, no, I'm just kidding. All right, let's talk about the actual best team in the NFL, the Rams. The Rams. The Rams. The Rams look deadly right now. So not only do the Rams definitely look deadly, they have one of the, a top five offense, a top five defense, and Matt Stafford is looking like the top three for both. Top three? Top three. And, top three. <laughs> and Matt Stafford's a legit MVP candidate. And not even just like like a possible MVP candidate. He's like in the top a likely. three. Like he's like if he continues on this pace and the Rams continue on this pace, he will be the MVP. He looks like a stallion right now. He looks amazing. And it's hard to watch being a, a Lions fan. But at the same time, I'm also happy because I still want him to get in the Hall of Fame. And this is only going to help that. Dude, like I think this is I think this game was a was a foreshadowing for the NFC Championship. Absolutely. This was a huge statement game too. And this might have been literally the biggest football game that has taken place in LA in a very long time. You got Tom Brady and the the Super Bowl champs coming in and they the Rams looked better on both sides of the ball. Yeah, and actually Tom Brady played super well and it was actually like I think it's one of the only games ever where he's thrown 300 touch 300 yards and four touchdowns and, and lost. lost or something. Yeah. But the Rams dominated like the Bucks got off slow because the Rams defense was really good. Obviously Aaron Donald's still very good. He's still the best defensive player in the league and they just keep getting like sixth rounders and undrafted guys that play like fucking pro bowlers and that's coming out of nowhere. Um, they did that last year. Everyone got signed away and they did it again. I don't know. Les Snead is a madman. He's extremely intelligent when it comes to drafting, dude. And it's like... Because scouting is spectacular. The scouting's ridiculous. And that's why I like Brad Holmes for the Lions. Because he came from there. But that was... A, honestly, that was a really good game. Even though like it was kind of a blowout the whole time. It was just crazy to see Stafford just throw them on a rope. Deshaun Jackson got in the game. Um, he actually played super well. Dude, like he was spreading the ball around and... Cooper Cup leads the league in receiving yards right now. Dude, that's so ridiculous. That's how, dude, that's how much Matt Stafford is flourishing with this Rams system. All right, well, let's talk about the other LA team that's played really well. So the Chargers went into Kansas City, beat the Chiefs in Arrowhead. Because Kansas City ain't losing too straight. Ain't happening. I'm just telling you right now, ain't no way they going to Kansas City after a Kansas City loss to the Baltimore Ravens, and they're going to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. I think we can agree that that might be one of the toughest draws in the entire NFL in terms of games to play, and Herbert outplayed Mahomes. Yeah, and uh, not, not you know, to sound like, you know... A homer. Well, yeah. not even, dude, not even to sound like, you know, a broken record, but I think this is the preview to the AFC Championship game. It could very well be. It could very well be. It could I very think well be, yeah. Like, I think the Chargers are better than the Chiefs. I think they have a better, they obviously have a better defense. The Chiefs are the worst defense according to PFF. Mm -hmm. And Chiefs had four turnovers. They had four turnovers. And the, the interceptions from Patrick Mahomes were bad. So let's talk about those a little bit. Dude, the first one was a no-look pass to Marcus Kemp. And Marcus Kemp, he's an undrafted rookie out of Hawaii. This guy's not Tyree Kill. This guy isn't Travis Kelsey. Sure, it hit him in the hands. But when they show the angle from the camera from the end zone, it's way behind him. You can't expect this guy to come down with that catch. So maybe are these freakish plays, are they catching up with Patrick Mahomes? Absolutely. And it it, it it goes down to like, what it really comes down to is we're expecting a guy that we, we are already considering the best quarterback of all time, like from a talent perspective, to make these crazy throws every time. He wasn't throwing picks making these throws. In September, he hadn't had a single interception and, you know, throws three so far in September and it ha hasn't lost a game in September. He's yeah. lost two. Yeah, dude, the, the Chargers literally, they completely out schemed him. And the second interception at the end of the game was just bad. Oh, it was that ugly. Was really bad. And, dude, he and, sailed it over Tyree Kill's head. And those are the types of throws that over the last couple of years, he's made those throws. But I think people are that no one had seen throws in the, in the NFL prior to that. And now people are like, okay, we've seen this now. 
We 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 know what to look for. Well, now it's like, dude, if we can make him, if we can pressure him and we can get him out there, we know he's going to throw weird. And maybe he completes that pass. Like, but it, he was maybe completing that pass 20 percent of the time. And you he's know? running for his life. And, and I'm not and game. I'm not even talking about like the no look passes. I'm look, talking about the even just like the sidearms like he wasn't completing. And it's because at the end of the day, like there is like a correct way to throw a football. And I'm not saying like what he's doing is incorrect, but it absolutely leaves way more like way more room. For are, are you saying there's like technique to yeah. throw a football? I mean, yeah, that's, that's so the weird. only thing I ever had. But it sailed over Tyreek's Tyreek Hill's head and went right into Alohi Gilman's hands. And the Chargers secondary, it's a badass secondary. The secondary is no joke. Derwin James is the best safety in the NFL. Alohi Gilman's the seventh, seventh best safety in the league right now. So they have two top 10 safeties. And two Chris top Harris. twenty corners. In two top twenty corners. That's that's a problem. That's a problem. That's gonna be a really good team. That's, yeah, absolutely. Can we talk about my favorite game of the day? What's your favorite game the of the Bears, day? Bears Browns. Justin Fields was sacked nine times. Nine times. Nine times. Nine times. Nine times. Let's break that down. How absolutely ridiculous that is that Justin Fields was sacked nine times. A bad, a, a horrid offensive line game is like your quarterback getting sacked four times that is a really bad game offensive line wise nine times seems a little fishy doesn't it okay and that's why i kind of have a whole thing laid out about this like and a lot of people have said this i think matt Nagy framed justin fields absolutely i think like he literally put a bloody knife in his fucking suitcase like it was like even like like a there smoking were, gun, bloody knife Bro, combo. there were no design runs. There was almost no play action. You have David Montgomery and Justin Fields. You have an awful offensive line, so you know you have to do that. Like, you know that you have to get creative. And it was just the same offense they've been running with Andy Dalton. And they were like, you'll make all these throws. He's like, yeah, I can make some of those throws. But, like, I, I'm super fast. I'm very athletic. And I'm a dynamic player. And Matt Nagy did nothing. None of that. Nothing. Like, can you really be so incompetent that you don't recognize those skill no, sets? No, I, like, I, that's what I'm, my whole point is. I legitimately don't think you can be that incompetent because I think he's a, like a piece of shit and he specifically lost on purpose because he's like Andy Dalton was the guy who was going to start and everyone's like, you're a dumbass. And then now he has to start Justin Fields. He's like, well, I'm going to show you that I was right. And then Justin Fields probably got that playbook and it's like, this is the same playbook. He's like, yep. What's that one quote from Dodgeball? It's uh, this is a bold move, Cotton. Let's see if it'll pay off. <laughs> you know, and so that's literally how I feel watching Justin Fields. And God, do I feel bad for him because... That guy was getting fucking annihilated during that game. Like he might die at the end of the season yeah. if he keeps if they keep this and, up. And don't get me wrong, like he still didn't play well regardless. But like he's a rookie quarterback Can you and blame he had no him, help. Though? Can yeah, you blame and, him? who well, would play well. You got to give the Browns credit because their running game is a force. And technically, according to PFF, they are the number one offense in the league. And Chubb and Hunt are just so freaking good. They're both Pro Bowl backs. Like. Dude, Odell, that that running Odell's game. Back too. Yeah, Odell's back. He had a great game. Mm -hmm. uh, like, dude. That running game with that line is like you could literally just do that all day. You could be like, dude, let's just run fucking dives and, power, and yeah, and power O's and RPOs and just win. And, and you got and you got Stefanski, who's a great play caller. He's a great play caller, and he's like, it's that's a very good team, and I think like that's going to be like I think they're going to win their division, and I. I dude, I think a they're better AFC, than the Ravens. Dude, the AFC just has some young, talented teams that are our problem. Yeah, and I think the Browns are better than the Ravens. I agree with that. I I, I completely. Agree. They're they're a more well rounded team. Their 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 pass rush is filthy too. There's a hair come the hair coming out of my mic. It keeps tickling me. Mm, that's that's really it's sexy. Yours. Um. Okay. Next game. PFT or PFT. WFT and Bills. What a PFT. What a PFT. WFT and Bills. So I have two main takeaways from this game. So it took a few weeks, but the Bills and Josh Allen are starting to click, and WFT's defense is not the same defense as last year. Dude, they're the the right now. Okay, so let's I'll talk about Josh Allen because he you know he had almost three hundred yards. He had four touchdowns. He looked really really good. Their run game was pretty solid. Their defense looked really good uh, up until like the last few minutes, honestly, when Heineke. But they, the they had a couple good takeaways. Yeah, but Washington football team was the really bad. They're fourth worst in the coverage. Are, are they? Is it that bad? Yeah, they have Kendall Fuller. They have they're twenty eight. They have right Kendall now. Fuller, Jeez. Landon Collins, Cameron Curl. They have some freaking ballers on that team, and they're just really bad. They're and really right now, bad. like that's probably one of the most underperforming defensive lines in the league right now. Dude, what are they even rated? That's a really good question. But Chase Young, he, he I, I haven't heard anything about him. 
you know, he, he's not been dominating like last Dude, year. Dude, they're still ranked fourth in pass rush, but their coverage is the is like fourth worst. Their tackling is awful. They Dude, do miss a lot of yeah, tackles. Yeah, that's that's what it is. It's their tackling a lot and of their tackles. coverage. If you can't tackle, yeah, that's an issue. That's a huge issue. That is a massive, massive issue. Bills are back. Yeah, the Bills are back. Uh, the Bills are deadly. They're, they're going to be a problem this year. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about another NFC North team that played. And it happened against uh, your team, Lions, in uh, one of the most legendary games I've ever seen, uh, endings to a game that I've ever seen. Very disheartening for Lions fans, because if that was kicked from 66 and a half yards, that kick's not going in. I, we, yeah, I'll give you a second. Wait, this is Bro, a Lions how? Fan. How? We're watching that. We're like, so hey, Justin Tucker's no- not going to hit a 66-yarder to win the game. Just one second. We... Not only did we miss a delay of that the refs miss a delay of game call, we let up a fourth and eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. A fourth and eighteen. <laughs> the most over the head. Ever. The most and, ever. and then and then he bounces it and you have the fucking fans in the background. I'm like, why are you cheering? It hasn't even felt and then it falls through. And literally you were there. I was like, how? 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 Of course. Of course though. Like those are the only two words I said were how and of course. Like of course and how. Dude, literally, it's so funny because the Lions suck, but they don't. But they do suck. They got, like, fight, dude. And even, like, I love Dan Campbell because he said the re- the NFL will apologize tomorrow and it will mean You guys nothing. are biting kneecaps, dude. Yeah, you guys we're are freaking kneecaps. tough, dude. We're tough. Like, you say what you want, but we're tough. You guys fight. You, you guys, Facts. Yeah. And also this team, like, let's not, you know, let's not beat around the bush. There's some dudes on this team. Dude, absolutely, dude. Trey Flowers is a dude. Like, I think. DeAndre Swift. I think DeAndre Swift is an absolute dude. Frank Ragno is an absolute dude. Like, best you know. Best center in the league. Yeah. yeah, like, best center in the league right now, you know. And so, <laughs> dude, it's just, like, the Ravens didn't play well. Hollywood Brown had three touchdowns that he dropped. He dropped mm-hmm. three yeah, touchdowns. Yeah, dude. That's really bad. Which, like, you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> So that game could have been a lot worse, but it's still, dude, that's one of those heartbreak. Like, literally broke the record in our stadium. Yeah, dude. That, that was, was freaking brutal. That, that, that was brutal. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was cool seeing a 66-yard game-winning field goal, but God Bro, damn, and I, in my head, I was like, it's going that's, in. It's going in. Yeah, I kind of knew in the back of my mind that he was like, going to make Like, this is going to go in. For sure, yeah. this is going to go in. You know in. that even before the game that he was trying to hit far field goals like that, but he wasn't making them in pregame, and he just so happened to make it during the game? I yeah, don't, of I don't know. He did. Yeah, maybe in, in the dome field somehow there was a gust of wind that uh, helped that kick go through. But regardless, that just goes to show that God hates the Lions. All right, let's talk about another NFC North team uh, that looked good actually, and that was the Packers. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers is still very good. Yeah, and I hate to say it because I hate I just hate him so much. And like you know, whenever he's in an interview, he's literally just is like he just takes a wine glass, he farts into it and he's just like he smells it and he's just like he loves himself so much. But the fact of the matter is the Niners looked probably the best they've looked in a while on Sunday. And and like this is just kind of what I was watching and like the the defense is good. That's a really good team. Debo Samuel's a beast. Ayuk's pretty good. Like their they defense can, they is can physical. Run, yeah, they, they were run. more physical than the than the Niners were. For sure. No, the Packers? Yeah. Oh, their offense or the defense? Defense. I, yeah, I mean, but I still think the 49ers have a better defense. Like, I, you, you're like, I do I, agree with that. Like, yeah. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, the Packers just, it's going to happen. Like, they're, they're going to let up a bunch of you. I mean, I didn't hear anything from Nick Bosa last night. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that. But it, here's my thing is like, at some point, Trey Lance is going to have to take over in order mm-hmm. for the Niners to go to the next level. Like, it's just, it was apparent. Like, Jimmy played okay, but it's so apparent that like, he doesn't have like, that he doesn't have he's not clutch he gives you glimpses yeah like if if you need him to hit a post yeah he'll hit a post if you need You'll him to go maybe two good drives yeah he'll yeah. go like 14 for 20 with a touchdown and like maybe an interception and like you know he'll keep you in the game but he's but he can also ruin the game for you and yeah. he was just, he you're, just you're not if you're down 17 points jimmy g's not gonna lead you to come back he's just game. not good he's like he's whatever he's just not good he, he just cares about strip clubs you know, and hookers and hookers he, he's not he like winning football Being games is looking. not he makes a lot of money you know that that's not his prerogative he's at the moment but super the, hot yeah the the fact of the, the matter though is the packers look good the niners with a quarterback god they're gonna be scary though yeah they, there's yeah. so many weapons on that team and think to think that they are you know they're competing with good teams and their quarterbacks all suck in a quarterback league this team's gonna be a problem once they get a quarterback 
Yeah, making that NFC West even more scary. So let's talk about another NFC West team that, quite honestly, has underperformed a little bit so far this year, the Seahawks. Seahawks lost to old Kirk and the boys at the Vikes. Dude, okay, so Justin Jefferson, like, he's a baby. He needs to shut up. Yeah, okay, Justin Jefferson has three drops in three games. Right now, Kirk Cousins is the third highest rated quarterback. He has, I think, like, what does he have, like, nine touchdowns or something and zero picks? I don't know. He's got something he, stupid. He hasn't He hasn't thrown an interception in over 200 passes. He hasn't thrown an interception over 200 passes. The Vikings have the 11th ranked offense right now, but they have their defense is 25th. It's yeah, it's, awful. It's, it's anemic. It's awful. such a bad defense. Their defense is so bad. And, like, this isn't Kirk Cousins' fault anymore. It isn't. Like, it isn't. If when you know, it was ever Kirk's dude, fault. It, it, oh, it, they all blame Kirk, which is the most insane thing, dude. Like he, he, He's the best quarterback the Vikings have had and maybe... Since Fran Tarkin. Yeah, you know, like, say, seriously, yeah, like, what? Yeah, yeah, like, get the fuck out of I'd here. I'd rather have him than than, uh, than Dante Culpepper. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. dude. And, and But, dude, the Seahawks are so bad. Like, their de- their defense is so bad. They're the ninth worst in coverage. Which is why? Why? How? There's and why? Two. And how does this defense bad? You guys have so, they, dude, there's so many weapons. You have a Hall of Fame middle linebacker. You got... A uh, lot of finger pointing. So, yeah, like... Jamal Adams. Well, have you seen... Well, yeah, but he sucks in coverage. He's always sucked in coverage. That's, like, that's, that's the true. whole thing is you paid a linebacker to play safety. You're stupid. Yeah. Um, but, like... The uh, the the corners and like the secondary have been saying, dude, the schemes are fucked up. And uh, Carol's like, the schemes aren't fucked up. We need to play better. It's like, I mean, I would take like what the players are saying and be like, I mean, maybe there's a little bit of truth to that because it probably is a lot of truth to that. Um, but I think the Vikings fans need to like lay off Kirk Cousins because he's a freak and highly underrated and he gets way too much shit. Like, I, I, I honestly think that just some Vikings fans are just, you know, like, oh, we want an Aaron Rodgers. Well, you have a guy that is good enough to lead your team to to have some runs. Exactly. With with a good defense. And they have the offensive weapons. Let's be real. Like, I think offense. Dylan. They, I mean, they, Jefferson, have, uh, they have a top three Dalvin running Cook. back, in my opinion. Yeah. Dalvin, when, he's, when Dalvin's healthy, he's a fucking problem. He's really, really good. But uh, here, let's look at where. Russell Wilson's ranked 14th out of 36 in quarterbacks, which like obviously isn't awful, but that's not Russell Wilson. No, that's not Russell they're Wilson. They're just not. They're not. They're not good. That they're, team is not good. Honestly, the, the the saving grace right now for the uh, for the Seahawks is their fullback, uh, Nick Balor, Balore, yeah, and Chris Carson. They're they're running back. That is the saving grace right now for the that's Seahawks. That's it. That's really not that good, and their defense is bad. They're gonna be it's last. So in, bad. They're gonna dude. be last in the NFC West, dude. It, which is just wild to say that the Seahawks are gonna be last in the NFC West. I mean, it's just a really, really good defense. But, bro, dude, guess where Trey Flowers is ranked out of uh, out of corners? So, out of 108 applicable corners, 110 he's, or 104. Not quite that bad, but he's 83. You know, okay, that's th- bad. Still, th- do you, do you expect Trey Flowers to to be ranked that low? Or should he be? No, no. I'd like so, but based on his performance, absolutely. I think that's absolutely w- warranted. You know, Robert Nikondiche. Sure, he's old, but like, he's not actually. No, he's not even that old. He's yeah, only, he's like he's only twenty nine. Um, he's not even that. Is he not even? He's twenty seven. Is he twenty seven? Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 this team is just underperforming. They they got some guys like you know Alton Robinson, who's like you know played pretty well, but these guys are. Just a bunch of random guys. Yeah. All right. And so last but not least, let's talk about a team that I'm still waiting to fight, figure out if they're good. The Raiders. Raiders are very good. They're good. Let's Their defense real. is second. They have the second best defense in the NFL. Derek Carr is the number two QB. And let's let's back that up real quick. The Raiders have the second best defense in the NFL. They, yeah. They, they have the best pass rush. They have easily had a bottom 15 defense the last like three years. And Derek That's Carr, being generous too. <laughs> Derek Carr looks like the truth. He is the I'll say this: the Dolphins are bad. Like that mm-hmm. offense is really bad. There's nothing on that offense. Like without, I mean, like I'm like without Tua, but even Tua is not good. Like Miles Gaskins, the best player on that offense, and that's a really bad thing. But like, I mean, the 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 this the. the the Dolphins are going to be what the Dolphins are. They're going to have a good defense, and they're going to get the shit kicked out of them because their offense can't score. But Derek Carr looks elite. Henry Ruggs looks like he's supposed to be doing what he's doing. Brian Edwards looks super good. Darren Waller's still a freak. Their offensive line is getting better. Le- Leatherwood still sucks. 
but their defense is looks really good. Really good. I, I okay. I'm happy that the Chargers secondary is looking the way that it is because Casey Hayward Jr. is ranked second out of all. He's corners really right now. good this season. He's playing really, really well. That Max Crosby has played well. Uh, they because they've Yannick and Gakwe too. He's been playing super well. Carl Nassib's been playing super well. Nassib. You're Nassib. Yeah. Yeah. And and Casey Hayward and Nate Hobbs. Th- this team is gross. Carl this Nassib, is a- bravest guy in the NFL. Yeah, uh, you know, good, for, yeah, good, good for him. Okay, uh, but dude, this like Hunter Renfro has been playing well. Derek dude, Hunter Carr, Renfro's on pace for like a twelve hundred yard season. Yeah, dude, Derek Carr, if he continues at this pace, obviously it's only been three games, but he could have a rational argument for MVP. Yeah, and they had Carr. dude, and they blocked for fucking Peyton Barber, who averages like less than three and a half yards per carry, making and him he, look good. Yeah, he ran for like over one hundred and ten yards. Mm-hmm. He was stupid good. I literally was screaming at the team. I was like, why is he running the ball? And then he ran in a touchdown. I was like, well, like, well, fuck. All right, I'm stupid. Or uh, And even Henry Ruggs, too. This team is really good. That team's very good. You know what's, you know what's the weak link of this team? is John Gruden. Yeah. I was <laughs> yeah. literally, I was like, once you said weak link, I was like, it's. It's literally John Gruden. Yeah, John Gruden's, yeah, we got a bunch of guys. Be like, Gruden, don't fuck this up because you actually have a Stay good away. roster. Yeah, like as a Chargers fan, I want the Chargers to beat the Raiders. But goddamn, the Western divisions right now in the nfl are just nasty the nfl is just more fun when the raiders are good that is a good point because dude they just do shit like because you know how they are uh getting audited by the irs before uh for tax fraud no that's hilarious that, that makes so much sense that, that's literally a thing that was that's happening about a month ago awesome is that that's not the awesome. most, that's so fucking that's funny. the most raiders thing on the planet that's so funny that's something i love to see all right, so uh, that's our synopsis of uh, at least all the games that matter. Uh, sorry, Giants fans uh, and Jets fans and Jaguars fans. Your teams suck. Yeah, so. Urban, Urban, Urban will be a coach at USC in like two weeks. So Absolutely, yeah. There's, I, I would bet a house if I had it to um, that Urban Meyer doesn't last the end of the season. All right, uh, but make sure to smack that subscribe button just like the Browns defensive line smacked Justin Fields around yesterday. All right. Thank you very much.